Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, we will be discussing a few things that you need to know before starting university. So just before I start this video, please consider subscribing as I'm really trying to get to 1000 subscribers. So, a few things that you need to know before starting university. Whether you're starting university for the first time in undergrad or you're starting your postgraduate, there are a few things that you won't necessarily get on the prospectus. And there are a few insider tips that I will give you and I will just talk through in this video. So one of the first things that I remember about my undergraduate, which is actually quite a few years ago, is the fact that they ask you for a reading list where you buy a certain amount of books that can total up to £200. And that was the first thing that I realised that you really didn't need. First of all, books are very heavy and clunky and if you carry them back and forth, they can become very heavy in your bag. You can become very tired by carrying these heavy books. Alternatively, you could always get the electronic versions of these books for much, much cheaper and there are so many benefits of an electronic version, such as the ability to search through chapters, the ability to have no weight so you actually don't need to carry anything. And the third thing is you can damage books whilst it's very difficult to actually damage the actual electronic book without, of course, ruining your iPad or your device. So that's one thing that you can actually save time and money and a lot of effort is not actually buying the physical books. But maybe I went to university a long time ago and this doesn't apply and maybe everyone uses electronic books now anyway. The other thing that you really need to know about university is that university is very much a place where you have to balance your social life and your academic life which means you're studying, your revision, and just going over the lectures. Because it's so important to actually make the most out of your social life. Everyone always talks about university as being this very social thing, and it's very important to actually make the most out of that because soft skills are so important. If you're the top of the class and you're the best at studying and revision, but you're not necessarily the best at talking to people or being a part of a group, which is very important, you're not getting the most out of your university experience. So it's very, very important to socialize, very important to meet up with people. Of course, assuming that, that I'm talking to people that are going to start in September and hoping that by then everything all the restrictions would have been lifted and you can actually freely meet as many people as you want, wherever you want. So that's one thing that I really want to stress, the fact that you should really, really focus on the social aspect if you're not necessarily already have focused on the social aspect. And if you're someone that's not focused too much on the, the academic aspect, you should really focus on the academic aspects. The other point that I was going to make is that many times the first year doesn't count. Mentality is actually not the best. This is because it's very easy to spend one whole year doing the bare minimum, knowing that or hoping that the 5% or the 0% that the first year counts towards is just an easy year to blow, having as much fun as possible. But really the first year is the foundation of the next two years. If you're doing an undergraduate degree in the UK, the first year is literally the foundation. If you fail the foundation, it's gonna be very difficult for you to either catch up, to rebuild, or you're gonna to have to use the second and third year to actually rebuild and construct the knowledge and the core principles for the next two years. It's going to be very, very difficult and often people that do very, very bad in the first year don't actually make it, make it to the last year in one piece, basically. The other thing that is very important um, before you start university is kind of knowing what you kind of want to get into in the future. Me, for example, I really did not know what I was going to do in the future, so I chose a random degree. This made it very, very boring and I was not interested in this degree just because I wasn't interested or I didn't know what the pathway I had chosen was. So I kind of blindly followed something. When you blindly follow something or when you don't know what time you're supposed to be waiting for, you become very impatient and you just don't enjoy the process of being there. So maybe have an idea of what you want to be doing maybe have an idea of what that degree is going to lead to you. If you're just doing that degree for a postgraduate degree, then at least you know that and at least you can persevere through your studies and know that at the end of that studies, doing well, it will lead you on to another stepping stone which will lead to another stepping stone. The other thing that you might want to know before starting university is that there are other ways of getting to that career that you want besides universities. University is not the best for everyone, so that's, some people think that university is a must. Whilst I do strongly believe that university is a very good option for everyone just because it teaches you so many skills that you won't necessarily get anywhere else and even if you're not necessarily earning the most money from that degree it's just the, the, the skills and the life experience that it teaches you is so so important. Most people that share the uni experience have friends forever because it's such a strong bonding point. But 
if you're really, really, really dead set on, on a certain career that doesn't necessarily need a university degree and or you're really pursuing something like software development or like coding, something that you can do online that you are better off learning yourself and earning quicker and quicker, then of course university is not right for you. The other thing that I would tell you about university is the fact that you should really look after your mental and your physical health. The mental health can be really, really tested, especially if you've just escaped. <laughs> especially if you've just left college at the age of 18 and 19. So in terms of physical health, it's very important that you get all the exercise and you don't just binge on food because it's very easy to be going out and eating every single day. But remember, your physical health is very, very important. At your impressionable age of around 18 to 25, if you really, really have a poor diet and you have a poor lifestyle, it's very hard to catch back up. And that damage that you do within those years really, really carries through. And when you're over 25, when you're 40, when you're 60, it becomes really, really hard to live. On the other side, mental health is equally as important because university really, really tests your mental health, whether it's deadlines, whether it's coming to a completely new environment, especially if you've just left college at the age of 18 and 19, you're very young, you haven't had exposure to this sort of world before, you're meeting older people maybe that have more experience and doing the same course as you, and you have all these deadlines and all these projects and all this adult responsibility and it just becomes very difficult so it's very important that you focus on your mental health that you don't deny some of the problems that you're having you accept that there are some problems and you work through your problems both physically and mentally also when you have coursework just remember that referencing coursework is very important as an academic i know how important referencing is plagiarism is very bad plagiarism can actually get you kicked out of university because you shouldn't be copying other people's work Therefore, referencing becomes very important. Oftentimes, the marker of the coursework will actually look at the references first because it says a lot about the student. Inconsistent referencing, such as inconsistent styles, like maybe you used Harvard and then you used Vancouver for some reason, that's completely wrong. As a student, it looks like you've done the right thing, but to the actual marker or even to me, it just, it just doesn't work. So referencing is very important and do not leave it to the end. I strongly, I strongly, I strongly recommend that you download a referencing software such as Mendeley. I'll put a little, little icon up here. And the better one is EndNote, but you usually have to pay for it. But honestly, EndNote is the best because it has all the referencing styles of journals that you might want to publish your work later. So if you continue academic journey, you have all these references built into EndNote and this really helps you with your referencing if you are going to publish your papers. The other tip that I would like to give is in regards to finance, if you get a student loan or even you get a student grant, do not spend all your money at one point. So you really have to get better at managing your finances. Just remember that most students are on a budget, which means there's a certain amount of income that comes in and you might not have any more income for the rest of a certain period. So maybe you get paid every six months, maybe even you can get paid once a month, which is still, as a student, is a very long period of time if you spent all your money in the first day. So don't be tempted if you get a loan, which is not actually free money, to actually spend the entire amount on big ticket purchases such as an iPad, a computer, maybe if you're an alcoholic, a keg of beer, <laughs> no, or, or something else. <laughs> the other thing related to finances is the fact that as a student, especially in the UK, you are entitled to many, many discounts. So make sure you get access to uni days, student beans, and many other discounts. Even if you go to a restaurant, you should ask if they do student discount, because often restaurants, even like Nando's, do student discount, but they don't necessarily advertise that. So always go to restaurants around the university, especially they might have specific student discounts for your specific university and save money, because money is very important, especially as a student, and that might be a source of pain for many students, and the university life is basically dependent on how much money you have. The last tip that I would like to give you regarding to coursework is the fact that extra information and extra research is literally your friend. No matter what coursework you're doing, the bare minimum from the lecture slides and the material given by the actual lecturers is the bare minimum. You are expected to go out of your way to research. Google Scholar, Web of Science, stuff like that, you are expected to gain your knowledge from published papers in peer-reviewed journals such as nature and science and so on and so forth, depending on your specific subject. So make sure you do extra research. Do not use Wikipedia all the time because it's very obvious where you got your information from and anyone can change Wikipedia. But remember, sometimes in Wikipedia, there are references to actual peer-reviewed journals. Go to those 
sources directly, don't use Wikipedia. I hope this video has been quite useful for people who are starting university, whether it's undergraduate or postgraduate. If you enjoyed this video, please press like, please share this video if you find it very useful. Please subscribe because I'm really trying to get to 1000 subscribers. And as always, thank you for watching.